Welcome to Thermotron's webinar on product reliability testing using high performance SE chambers. Feel free to submit questions at any time. After the presentation, we will answer as many questions as time allows. If we miss your question or run out of time, we will provide a document with all the questions and answers. My name is David Kajowski, and I'd like to introduce the presenters for today's webinar. I am the marketing manager here at Thermotron. Jane Newton is the marketing services coordinator and is in charge of the content and design of the website and product literature. Jake Tykowski is an application engineer responsible for preparing quotations and providing worldwide sales support. Here is the agenda for today's presentation. I'm going to share Thermotron's company profile. Jane will talk about benefits of product reliability testing and chamber basics. Jake will discuss the advantages of Thermotron's high-performance SE series environmental test chambers. Lastly, I'll talk about Thermotron's exclusive 8800 programmer controller. Thermotron Industries is headquartered in Holland, Michigan and is one of the world's largest manufacturers of environmental test chambers, vibration test systems, accelerated stress test equipment, and functional test and measurement equipment. Our core competencies include refrigeration, heat, humidity, vibration, combined environments, control instrumentation, application specific software, and custom design engineering. Thermotron has more than 50 years of experience in the environmental testing industry. We have developed an extensive library of worldwide applications and installations. We have provided solutions to many of the world's largest companies and our test solutions help improve product quality and reliability. Jane will now talk about the benefits of product reliability testing and chamber basics. Thanks, David. First, I will go over a few key terms associated with reliability testing. Design validation, product validation, environmental stress screening, and product life cycle testing are four of the most popular tests used for environmental testing. Design validation testing is done to ensure that a product will function in the normal environment it will encounter during its life cycle. It is specification driven and can be done in the R&D phase and or during the production phase. The goal is to pass the test and meet the specification without any failures and the result is a robust product. The purpose of product validation is to ensure that the product meets the requirements, specifications, and regulations for which it is intended. The product validation procedure uses simulations si similar to those of design validation to foresee faults or gaps in the design or manufacturing stages that might cause failures when consumers are using the product. Environmental stress screening uses a variety of different stresses such as thermal cycling to force latent defects in a newly manufactured or repaired product or component, typically electronic. The latent failures represent catastrophic or permanent failures. The surviving products or components are assumed to have higher reliability than a similar unscreened population. Product life cycle testing simulates real world stresses in order to predict the lifespan of the product. Thermotron manufactures for these four types of tests by simulating actual field environments like temperature and humidity. Many products go through standard testing procedures that are widely accepted, including those from the military, IEC, UL, and IEST. Thermotron's 8800 programmer controller includes 10 pre-programmed tests, including four MIL standard and three IEC profiles, as shown on the slide. This figure is from MIL standard 810G method 5075, and the procedure is called aggravated cycle. Its purpose is to subject a product to elevated temperature and humidity conditions. The cycle begins with 95% relative humidity at 30 degrees Celsius, and then it heats up to 60 degrees Celsius. Then, the temperature stays at 60 degrees Celsius for six hours. Next, we cool down to 30 degrees Celsius and soak at that temperature for four hours. After that, we turn the product on and allow it to soak at the same temperature for another four hours. Notice that we maintain a 95% relative humidity throughout the entire cycle. After this first cycle is complete, taking 24 hours total, it is ready to be repeated. It is important to test products for reliability prior to releasing units into production. 
Ensuring that products can reliably withstand various environmental conditions will reduce costs associated with recalls and warranties. Product testing can also give you a competitive advantage because it helps in designing and manufacturing a more robust product that is ready for consumer use. Reliability testing also helps users meet supplier requirements. The most common types of environmental testing include temperature and humidity, on which this presentation will focus. Other common types of testing include halt and hass, altitude, and vibration. Here are some major markets that benefit from product reliability testing. Defense, aerospace, consumer electronics, automotive, and telecommunications. Just about any piece of electronic equipment will need testing to ensure that it will properly work in any climate it encounters. Here is an example of how a typical chamber is laid out. First, we'll go over the chamber on the left. Starting clockwise with the serial communications panel, you'll find the control system right above it. Next on the top right is where chamber pressures are released through the exhaust relief vent. Next is an access port that allows wires and thermocouples to be placed on the product under test and hooked up to data acquisition equipment on the outside. Lastly, casters allow for easy chamber maneuvering. Turning to the chamber on the right, let's start from the top. Now looking to the inside of the chamber, you will see there are two lights allowing visual access to the inside of the chamber. On the ceiling of the chamber, you will find the movable product temperature control thermocouple, an electronic hu humidity sensor, and an air baffle that supplies the air over the product under test. The control thermocouple is also located on the ceiling. The white arrows represent the airflow as it is directly distributed over the product and the air returns from the chamber floor. The humidity system is located on the right side cabinet and the compressors and condensers are housed in the front cabinet. Now I'll go over a few chamber component definitions. A thermocouple is a movable device that measures temperature. Product temperature control maximizes stress on the product through the chamber's control system and optimized airflow. Airstream control measures the air temperature at the outlet source of the air supply. Product temperature control measures the product's temperature. Cascade refrigeration systems consist of two compressors that allow the chamber to go to minus 70 degrees Celsius. Single stage refrigeration consists of one compressor that allows the chamber to typically go to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The chamber's refrigeration system can be cooled in one of three ways. Chambers with six horsepower compressors or smaller can be cooled with an onboard air or water cooled condenser. Chambers with six horsepower compressors or larger can be cooled with either water cooled or remote air cooled condensers. Remote air cooled condensers are typically placed outside, either on top of the facility or on the ground. The purpose of all condensers is to draw the heat away from the compressors and other refrigeration system components. The dry air purge option enables reduced moisture operation at low temperatures and dew points at minus 40 degrees Celsius. The system consists of a flow meter, regulator, and control solenoid for program operation. It utilizes compressed air as the supply source and is very helpful in minimizing moisture in the chamber. Gaseous nitrogen is an alternative to dry air purge. Its purpose is to minimize the moisture level inside the chamber. Liquid nitrogen boost enables faster pulldowns and dissipation of heat from the product. An oxygen monitor or monitors can be added to the chamber or test lab to monitor oxygen levels. It also features an alarm if a depleted oxygen environment exists. Basic humidity systems have a few components. An electronic humidity sensor gives high quality responses and is very accurate at low humidity levels. It doesn't require as much maintenance as a wet bulb dry bulb system. A wet bulb dry bulb system can require frequent replacement of wick socks and the dirty water from the test can clog the humidity system. The steam generator produces high volumes of moisture and water vapor consistency, which is good for transitions. The water bath system can't generate high volumes of moisture and has poor low humidity control due to the water in the bath. However, it is good for steady state testing. The dew point is the temperature to which air must be cooled for it to reach saturation. Now I'll pass it along to Jake who will talk about Thermotron's high performance SE series environmental test chambers. Thanks Jane. The SE series stands for Standard Enhanced Series of Environmental Test Chambers. 
The SE series is Thermotron's flagship line and has more features and better performance than any other comparable chamber on the market. Our standard chamber sizes range from 300 liters to 3300 liters. Custom sizes are also available to match specific application needs. Custom compressor packages such as 7.5 and 30 horsepower to match specific performance requirements are also available. Larger compressors increase air temperature change rates as well as increasing the chamber's cooling capacity. Heater sizes are then matched with compressor sizes to be comparable to the cooling performance. Standard chambers feature either an onboard air-cooled condenser or a water-cooled condenser for up to 6 horsepower compressors. 10 horsepower compressors and above have the option of a remote air-cooled condenser. Our chambers can be built in compliance to numerous domestic and international electrical standards including CE and CSA. We can also accommodate any voltage that you may need for worldwide performance. Next I'll talk about Thermotron's unique air baffle. The, the air baffle evenly distributes air over the product, ensuring that the entire product is conditioned equally. This creates tighter temperature gradients and improves uniformity, which helps with test repeatability throughout the entire workspace. Product temperature control provides better product change rate performance because it controls, not just monitors, the product under test temperature by using a series of algorithms performed by the controller. Product temperature control is optimized by high airflow volume using the unique air baffle that helps condition the entire workspace evenly. The baffle, airflow, and product temperature control work together using a systems approach for exceptional product temperature change rates. Some additional advantages of the SE series chambers include a heated window centered in the door for visual access to the product under test, as well as two interior lights which allow users to see the product while under test. Both the window and the light can withstand the temperatures up to 180 degrees Celsius. Access ports can be fixed on either the right or left hand side of the chamber. Access ports are welded for a tighter seal. One port comes standard with each chamber and additional ports can be added for chamber versatility. Another advantage to the SE series is that the door hinge can be placed on either the right hand or left hand side to accommodate the user, application, or test lab layout. One adjustable shelf is standard with each chamber. Additional shelves can be added. And the chamber door latch has an ultra-tight seal which allows for smooth operation. The SE series is ideal for test labs with limited floor space because all accessories are built within the chamber. Some accessories include the dryer purge, which is featured above and is placed on the back side of the chamber in the refrigeration cabinet, the electrical hookup, and the humidity purification systems. Casters with leveling pads make move-in and setup simple. It also gives flexibility because casters allow the chamber to be moved easily throughout the lab as needed. Leveling pads assist in ensuring that the chamber is safely and evenly positioned. The main power disconnect switch allows users to cut off power instantly as needed. Thermotron's SE series chambers have the thickest door and walls in the industry. This is advantageous because it results in thicker insulation and helps reduce running costs. Users also don't have to worry about injuring themselves by touching an extremely hot or cold chamber exterior. The power saver feature shuts down one compressor once steady state has been achieved. The 8800 control system ensures that refrigeration system is active only while heaters are turned off. This also allows the chamber running costs to be minimized. The exhaust air can be vented out in two ways. Vented out of the lab to reduce load on an air conditioning system or in some colder climates, vented into the lab during cold months to save on heating costs. The humidity water purification and recirculation system is also environmentally friendly because it recycles the water as opposed to using new water consistently. This also reduces utility costs. It's important to track what is happening to the product under test. Thermotron's data acquisition system is configured for use with the chamber's control system greatly increases the chamber's capabilities and value by including product activation and monitoring to programmed or manual profiles. Users can also view product inputs, outputs, and temperatures on the same graph as other chamber conditions and profiles. With pluggable screw terminal connections for outputs, standard jacks, and additional included thermocouples for temperature monitoring, the DAC panel is quick and easy to set up and start using. The Tier 2 DAC leverages inputs and outputs that are configured and managed by the 8800 software. Wizards assist in the setup and configuration of all channels including labels, 
scaling factors, and limits, all of which can be associated with control module recorded events and values. Some advantages include inputs and outputs that are all logged at the same rate in the same format with all other chamber parameters. Data is easily exported in a CSV format to allow for easy viewing in programs such as Microsoft Excel. Thermotron also offers expanded data monitoring and collection solutions from our test tools group. Thermotron offers a patented modular full range humidity system. Because of its modular design, it can be added to a temperature only chamber as a field retrofit. This is beneficial because it adapts to evolving test needs and flexibility as well as adds to the chamber's versatility. The electronic humidity sensor replaces the need for wick socks and float tanks. Wick socks can be difficult to use and can create test downtime because they might have to be replaced during a long run test. The electronic humidity sensor has increased accuracy with low humidity, whereas a wick sock has poor low humidity accuracy. The steam generator is beneficial because high volumes of moisture can be generated. This is especially good for larger chambers because the water vapor is consistent and provides more repeatable results. Humidity chambers also come with a dehumidification coil. The demineralizer cartridge and water supply reservoir viewing windows were designed for users' convenience in mind. Now you are able to see the important levels from the exterior. The humidity system can be configured in two ways. A direct feed hookup that is plumbed into the facility or a self-contained refillable water reservoir. Customer facility water must fall within a specified range of purity in order to avoid damage to the humidity system. If the customer's facility water supply falls outside this range of our specifications, we offer a humidity water purification and recirculation system, which includes a demineralizer and filters, as shown in the photo above. The graphs above illustrate Thermotron's humidity ranges. The standard humidity range is noted in the darker blue, and its low humidity range is indicated in the lighter blue. The extended range of the minus 10 degrees Celsius dew point is standard on all SE series chambers and can be enabled as needed for short-term ultra-low humidity conditions. The low humidity option incorporates a drier purge for ultra-low dew points. It also adds a bubbler humidity system which allows small amounts of moisture to be added to the air for low humidity control. This system eliminates two problems associated with adding hot steam to a cold environment. Heat that needs to be taken out of the system and steam generator oscillation. SE series chambers can be customized in several different ways. Not only can customers define the size of the chamber as well as its compressors, but they can also choose additional features such as extended temperature ranges, minimal spark packages, and product fixturing. The picture on the slide is an SE 1504 with biparting doors and a custom workspace layout. Some examples of products that have been tested in this chamber include automotive dashboards and large medical electronics. Extended temperature ranges give users more versatility. Industries such as automotive engine components, oil and gas exploration, defense, and aerospace benefit from minus 100 degrees Celsius to 232 degrees Celsius temperature ranges, simulate real-world high temperature applications, and to greatly increase the degradation rate of the product under test. Minimal spark packages feature intrinsic barriers, sheath heaters, explosion-resistant lights, and a heresite coated coil. Custom fixturing kits are also available to safely mount your product inside the chamber. The 8800 control system enables transition cooling, which allows the refrigeration system to smoothly switch from single stage to cascade operation by monitoring several chamber parameters. This greatly reduces energy consumption and provides better performance. Lastly, the cascade humidity feature can be used for high temperature and high humidity profiles that have a product with a high amount of live load. On the next slide, we'll show you an example of a market-specific application. Thermotron offers SE series chambers with battery testing packages as well. Users can pick and choose which options are best for their application. These safety features are meant to help protect the user and the chamber. Battery-specific safety features include a pressure sensing latch which holds the door shut while a proximity switch detects whether the door is properly locked. It also acts as a blowout option. Users have two options for a lighting source. One is an explosion proof interior light that can handle the harsh chamber environments. The second is an exterior light which is placed on the outside of the door. The blow off ceiling panel releases pressure as needed. 
A hand wheel door latch is an upgraded version of our standard latch for additional safety. A gas detector monitors imbalances in hazardous gas levels. An intrinsic safety isolation barrier protects the chamber in dangerous atmospheres and under irregular operating conditions. The non-sparking fan blade ensures that the fan will not act as a starting agent if gas is present. The sheath heaters do not allow temperatures to increase higher than the auto ignition temperature. And nitrogen purge reduces oxygen content within the chamber itself. Thermotron's patented universal port is an oversized portal installed into the side of wall of an SE chamber, expanding its capabilities by increasing and diversifying test system utilization and lab productivity, while also reducing capital equipment investment costs. The universal port interfaces with roll-up interchangeable modules and accessories that can characterize different stress testing and simulation techniques, allowing the chamber to serve multiple purposes. With the universal port, a temperature chamber becomes a halt chamber, a thermal shock chamber, or a remote conditioner without purchasing an entirely new chamber. Modules and accessories can be purchased later as testing requirements change. Here are some examples of how a universal port could be used. The picture on the left is a workspace extension. It shows shelves extending out of an SE chamber and would be covered by an enclosure during a test. The center picture is a halt module connected with an SE series chamber. And the right side shows a normal universal port with two additional ports and a window for access to the workspace. Now I'll pass it back to Dave who will talk about the 8800 Programmer Controller. Thanks, Jake. The 8800 Programmer Controller was developed by Thermotron engineers specifically to run an environmental test chamber. A 12-inch touchscreen makes the navigation and report viewing simple. Thermotron's Windows-based software offers a multi-level, password-based user security system that protects sensitive data. A true paperless recorder, the 8800 offers 10 plus years of data storage and an activity log that displays all events. The 8800's graphing capabilities are endless. As a user programs a profile into the controller, a graph will display before the chamber starts running. Additional graphing features include a cursor bar that displays actual temperatures or humidity at any given point during the profile. Drag and zoom allows users to view information at a specific profile point. An enhanced calendar allows users to refer to specific dates for past profile retrieval, and status flags indicate when the chamber was started, held, or stopped. The schematic screen offers electronic monitoring of refrigeration, suction, discharge pressures, and temperatures. This is beneficial for troubleshooting the chamber and reducing downtime, thus increasing productivity and product throughput. USB ports are available on the front of the chamber for flash memory, printer, keyboard, or a mouse. The USB ports are located by the Ethernet connection on the chamber. Ethernet hookup can be done one of two ways. The first, as illustrated on the slide, is a hardware from the Ethernet connection to your computer. The second way is by a wireless router. The standard feature allows 24-7 remote access from any location with an internet connection. Users can monitor the chamber status from a designated web page. An example of when this would be useful is when a supplier wants to monitor a chamber's progress at a contract manufacturer site for accuracy, status, or completion. RS-232 is a standard alternative serial communication method. GPIB IEEE 488 is an optional alternative serial communication method. The 8800 comes with programmable service notifications that allows users to schedule future preventative maintenance services when they are needed. Digital refrigeration gauges replaces mechanical gauges. This feature consists of a closed loop digital feedback system with the 8800 controller. If the transducer in the refrigeration line senses excess pressure, an automatic notification on the controller will be displayed. This eliminates the need for adjustable expansion valves. Also, it improves repeatability and produces tighter test tolerances. Solenoid pulse counts are recorded by the controller so users know when to schedule a preventative maintenance visit. Quick reference documents are available for users' convenience that provide online help. Complete the testing cycle with electronic or printable test reports. 
The 8800 generates reports that include a detailed graph and raw data of selectable date or time range using the enhanced calendar, as well as valuable information such as temperature, humidity, and data acquisition, among others. If you have an 8800 with any type of chamber, vibration equipment, or hall task equipment, you will get consistent reporting because it's all in the same format. Thermotron's Thermalarm is a built-in over-under temperature limit device that protects against temperature extremes. It is an independent, redundant instrument that has the capability to shut down the chamber and or the product. It features a separate sensor in the chamber workspace that can be mounted to the product under test to detect over-under limits. This feature provides audible, visual, and relay contact indication of temperature which exceeds a user-defined limit. Have you ever wanted to control a chamber from your smartphone or tablet? The VNC Viewer is an app that can be downloaded to a device that allows chamber users to control the 8800 remotely. This is a convenient feature that allows for any time, anywhere access to the chamber. Another way to remotely control a chamber is through ThermalTrack 2 software. This software was designed to make chamber control more efficient and simplify lab management. This improves performance by saving time, increasing productivity, and cutting costs. ThermalTrack 2 is a networking system that provides access to chamber programming, operating, data acquisition, and display functions from a single PC. It allows for multiple Thermotron chamber controllers to be linked, automating and simplifying your testing process. It also allows you to run several test profiles simultaneously, elevating equipment speed, productivity, and test consistency and accuracy. Thermotron's Microsoft Windows-based environment makes setting up and using the ThermalTrack 2 software easy. Thermotron is the only manufacturer that offers free software updates and drivers that are downloadable from our website. Some examples of drivers include LabVIEW, Lab Windows, or Visual C++. If you would like to test drive our 8800 program or controller, you can download a demo from our website. Thermotron offers preventative maintenance packages and employs direct field service engineers to keep your equipment up and running. Also, free technical support is available by calling Thermotron. Additionally, Thermotron holds an annual service seminar. The service seminar is an intensive two to four day course with lecture and hands-on learning. Classes revolve around equipment use, maintenance, troubleshooting, and the control system of environmental test chambers, halt and hass equipment, or electrodynamic vibration systems. The picture shows a Thermotron technician troubleshooting a chamber with two customers at the annual service seminar. In conclusion, product reliability testing is an important aspect of design, manufacturing, and consumer use. Reliability testing improves product reliability and quality, reduces costs associated with recalls and warranties, and increases profitability. The high-performance, fully customizable SE series chambers have optimized airflow from the unique air baffle that conditions the entire workspace, assisting in consistent product change rates. Thermotron's product temperature control feature uses the 8800 control system to control the product's temperature. The 8800 programmer controller also puts the finishing touches on the testing cycle by producing valuable reports critical to improving product design and manufacturing techniques. This concludes our presentation. Now we'll have time for questions and answers. This is Jane again, and I will be taking over for the questions and answers portion. Remember that if we do not get to your question, we will be providing a document with all the questions and answers tomorrow. Our first question is, how can I get help with my specification? Jake, can you take this one? Sure. We have a very helpful application engineering group that can help you go through your specification and help you find a chamber that meets your needs and budget. Our second question is for David. Do you have chambers available from stock? Yes, we do. We have selected our most popular models, which are the SE600 and the SE1000. Both are available as part of our stock in progress program that are in stock and ready for quick shipment. You can find more details available on our website. 
The third question is, why is product temperature control important? Jake, can you answer this one? Absolutely. It's important because you are trying to test your product, and the best way to do so is to control its actual temperature throughout the test. Our fourth question is also for Jake. What is the maximum number of controllers that can be networked together on Thermotrack 2 software? The Thermotrack 2 software can support a maximum of 32 controllers. And our final question is, what is the next step after temperature and humidity testing? Jane, I'll take this question. Uh, you will most likely realize that your testing capabilities need to be expanded. We have quite a few customers who have expanded their labs into electrodynamic shakers, altitude chambers, thermal shock chambers, halt and hass equipment, and combined temperature, humidity, and vibration systems. This concludes the Q&A time. Thank you for attending today's webinar. A document with all of the questions and answers will be available in the webinar's on-demand console. If you have further questions or need additional information, do not hesitate to contact David, Jake, or myself. Thank you again.